Email us, phone calls. I know we've got uh, a packed house right now. 410-481-1300, 888-372-9535. And as I said, you can email us, Anita Marks at ESPN1300.com, Wally Franchise Williams, which, by the way, for the Suggs show the other night, get this. Look at this. Look at this. All right. Suggs is so excited about this show that not only does he bring his own iPod into the show to play his own music, mm -hmm. he brought out a $500 gift certificate for Best Buy to give away and a $500 gift certificate to Victoria's Secret to give away at his show. Of course, uh, only for right. those that come out to Michael's Pub right. are eligible. Exactly. And so our first trivia question was, um, who was the first guy, the, the, course, the first quarterback that Terrell Suggs sacked in his career? Right, right. Tommy Maddox. Mm -hmm. And the second question was, Name, since Suggs was just franchised by the Ravens, name all the players that the Ravens have franchised. And, of course, Chris McAllister was the easy one, and then uh, and then they they somebody guessed you. Really? So you were part of our trivia question. I was question. part of really? Yes. And somebody had it. Wally, so you get $50 to Victoria's Secret, Wally. <laughs> you get a portion of the proceeds. Wally Franchise Williams. See, it pays to listen to the show. There you go. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Wouldn't you it say so? It definitely pays. So I, I just received an email and you know, I love I love to read them all. I love to read them all. Since the Browns stink so bad, I can smell them from here. And the Bungles, I mean Bengals, are just as bad. We have ourselves the division winner next Monday, or at least it would appear that way. I know we meet again later in the season, but this is crucial for both teams. The Steelers, the Steelers, seriously, is the first big test for the Ravens. And don't forget, the Ravens are on the road for the first time this year. If Steelers play like they did yesterday, the Ravens will win. Both teams have very tough schedules ahead. So, again, I mean, going in, yes, do you feel that they stink so bad? Cincinnati really gave the Giants All they de can handle. De defending champions yes, yes. a run for their money yesterday. Yes, they did. And I will tell you firsthand, because I was a big loser yesterday. <laughs> I think everybody was big losers yesterday. <laughs> what a bizarre day in the NFL yesterday. Absolutely bizarro. I mean, who would? Were you looking at that? Well, I was at. Well, let me say this. Let me rewind for a second. Okay. I have to give a shout out to Ravens fans. Yesterday, I had the pleasure. Typically, I have to because I, I do the pre and the post game show. I have to sit there and, of course, take notes. And, and typically, I'm, I'm either in the press box or I'm watching on the big screen and, and whatnot. Yesterday, I was a fan. And yesterday, I went to M&T Bank Stadium and I sat. I, I sat in in the stands and I want to give a shout out to Section 138. And let me tell you something. Amazing. <laughs> Electric, exciting. I, I mean, just uh, pat yourselves on the back, Ravens fans. Yeah. I mean, just, just. Um, have, have you ever, have you ever gone and just sat at MT Bank Stadium and just uh, been yeah. a fan? I mean, not in, not in a, not. Okay, not in I've a been, box, not I've in been a in a box. box. None like, none no, like, not no, in a box. Like not on the sideline. I mean, like just a fan. I've done the, the tailgating deal. Uh, I've done that, and I got a normal seat and sat in the stands and, and watched a. Uh, a couple of games, and, and I don't think this city gets enough credit, really, for the the, the fans and how loud that stadium is. I mean, I, I, in the playoff game was was probably the, uh, against the the Colts of a couple of years ago. Now was really the first game I actually went to and, and sat in the stadium and just watched everything and the atmosphere in that stadium. And how, I didn't know it got that loud. And I played in that stadium a couple of times. Didn't know from sitting as a fan how loud it was. And and really, to come in there as a visitor. I'm, I'm sure the Browns just took all of it. I mean, they were totally confused. They couldn't hear a thing yesterday. It was simply amazing. I just want to give a shout-out to Ravens fans. You, you, 